Hey guys, welcome back to Recordology. This is a video that I didn't intend on doing this year because I had visions of doing a lot more Christmas record player, like playing records, Christmas music content, but we, we were happily inundated with a lot of product reviews. So I thought that, you know, we should do that because people love those videos more than anything. But there are some core fans out there, some core friends that you know really would like to just listen to some cool Christmas records and take a look at stuff in detail. So that's what we're doing here. Very informal. Uh, a lot of these I picked up this year, so I you know I'd be remiss if I didn't share them with you. So let's start with this one right here. This old Peter Pan records, White Christmas. This thing is a dingy red, as you can see compared to my Christmas suitcase player. And by the way, I know that. This isn't the best needle for playing 78s if they're wide groove, but for children's records like this, it actually works pretty good. Nothing's getting damaged, all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and spin it up a little. We're not going to listen to the entirety of any of these. I just want to, you know, drop our needle in a few different places and give it a listen. And here we go. This one's really worn, as you can tell. nostalgic very much a time portal I feel like these records are this one is is quite loved quite worn out um, on the back I think we got a different version of the same thing somebody's name on there Patty Schwartz and again the color on this record is just bizarre just bizarre so what are some of your favorite Christmas records let me know in the comments down below if you're new here this channel started out with a goal oops of throwing records on the floor. This channel started off with a goal of playing records. That was what we we're gonna do, find cool records, you know, on basic record players. And then it morphed into this, you know, review channel, never had any intention. I'm happy with it, I'm thankful. We're just bringing you the content that apparently people want, but we didn't anticipate that. But that's all good. We want to adapt to what people want to see. All right, here we've got a an adult record. This is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer by Gene Autry. And on Columbia, I've got to be careful with the copyrighted music here. Not because I'll get in trouble, but if at all possible, I would like to monetize this video so we can afford to bring you more content. That being said, I'm going to play a very small clip. With your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? And that's about it. <laughs> Unfortunately, some stuff I can get up to like 10 seconds of of these releases on without you know having them take the monetization away but sometimes it's like three seconds but here we go here's the other side i'm not taking the time to clean any of them right now we're just playing them down and dirty and that's okay because we are two days from christmas you guys it is christmas eve eve oops sorry about that and if we don't listen to them now, we may never get a chance to listen to it. I don't know if you guys have this happening, but there's a lot more that I wanted to get to in terms of just for my own self, not for the channel necessarily, but just for, you know, listening to music and movies. I got through a lot, a lot more than I expected to. This record's in amazing condition. From what's left, I can see this is another uh, Gene Autry title here. I believe this is a children's release, possibly. Oh, this is a Columbia. The other side is intact, so... Let's get, he'll be coming down the chimney, something to that effect. Let's drop our needle and see what we get. And down the chimney, like he always did before, when you hear his sleigh bell. It's good stuff. I love Gene Autry Christmas music. I really do. Gene Autry was this interesting because if you listen to like Western music, specifically like Bob Wills, uh, Kitty Wells, you know, old school country Western music, you uh, will know that he really, Gene Autry wasn't really a part of that Grand Ole Opry group, which is very much a social clique in and of itself. The uh, politics from the people that were a part of Louisiana Hayride, the competing radio show to the Grand Ole Opry, Opry radio show. It's interesting. And then you got over on the east or on the west coast, you've got Gene Autry doing his own thing. All right, we've got country or Christmas country style Johnny Tillotson. Now this song, this is cool because this is a, I think a radio release or special, oh yeah, Disc Jockey Records. It's right in front of my face. Um, the Bing Crosby version of this song is awesome. I love it. It was one of my top five Christmas songs or one of the special recommendations anyway. Country 
which apparently is a completely different song than this. But that is cool. Christmas Country Style, 45 RPM. Natson Music and Port Music, ASCAP. So, what shows would you like us to do, or what focus would you like us to take into the new year? I would love to hear from you guys on what you'd want to see more of, less of, all that kind of stuff. We do poll people from time to time, but I like to hear, you know, in detail what you guys want to hear, too. So, feel free to comment any video. I see all those comments, although I am behind on responding, which I know, so I apologize for that. But I, I am reading them all. I'm trying to respond to as many as possible. All right, we've got a Golden Christmas sing-along, Golden Record. I, why are they never, I hate it when they're not on golden records, when it's a golden record label, it's annoying. This is an interesting 45 because it has this recessed hole. Like it's thicker on the label, which, you know, the reason why that's done is so they can be stacked on changers. But the way that this is chiseled down onto this shelf here is new and different. So that's really, really bizarre. Jingle Bells by the Sandpiper Chorus and Orchestra, just directed by... Jim Timmons. All right, let's give that a quick listen. It's a great excuse to listen to these guys because I haven't, you know, a lot of these records I haven't had a chance to listen to yet. So here we go. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Now, you may be saying to yourself, Recordology, what are you doing? You're not going to get a copyright strike on that. And again, not a copyright strike. That's not what I'm concerned about. But I would like to maintain the monetization because that's how we pay for this. This gets expensive, you know. Um, look how high the lift is on this thing. It's probably holding that needle two inches above the record. <laughs> it's an interesting record player. Now the perfect day. We'll be singing the songs we love to sing without a single stop at the fireplace while we... A love for its own, you know, aesthetic. I love the sound of a harsh ceramic cartridge like this on a scratchy old record it's not a smooth you know hi-fi experience by any means it's just fun 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 okay speaking of fun check this out was the night before christmas peter pan records non-breakable with normal use that always cracks me up because it's like you're giving it to a kid they're not gonna they don't use anything normally um 78 rpm 25 cents or 35 cents in canada it is 78 so we're flipping the speed there times four so I'm guessing that means there's four songs. These are worth picking up just for the um, art. They're just amazing. And again, 78 RPM, because a lot of kids' records, you know, remain 78 RPM well into the 50s and 60s. Speaking of a date, 56, manufactured by Synthetic Plastics Company. And as we know, vinyl and vinylite and other versions thereof are, you know, of, of kind of plastic. This looks like it's in great condition. I can see some polish down there on the left. The Night Before Christmas, narrated by Mort Lawrence. I might get a surprise here. Oops, it helps me take the 45 adapter off. I always do that. Do you guys ever do that? All right, let's drop our needle at the beginning of this one. Okay, a little bit of a jump there. And then, in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. Like he the was dressed it. all in fur, from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth is drawn up like a bow. Awesome. That's cool. That sounds good. I like it. I mean, it sounds good in a uh, harsh ceramic sort of way. Oh, that was side two. Okay. I'm really with it today, you guys. That, so we just played part of side two, so there's side one. Awesome. That's a cool, cool record. I like that. And I love the sleeve. The artwork is fantastic. Make sure when you pick these up, don't get so excited and do like I do half the time where I just buy it and then find out inside is a different record or no record or a broken record. That's never fun. All right, I picked this up this year and I was super excited because I had this little golden book, not the book and record version, but I had this book, which was, you know, seeing this artwork was amazing. And I remember as a kid, because it was Jingle Bells and it wasn't like, you know, I was, I never got around to reading it is what I'm trying to say, but I remember it being around, I remember flipping through the pictures as a kid and seeing the artwork. And then I found this 
this summer, which is ironically where I buy a lot of my Christmas stuff is during the summer. And I was like, we have to check this out. We have to get this. So I think it was like, I don't know if the price is still on here, but it was very reasonable. It's on my favorite Disney label. This, I don't know what you would call it, but this is my favorite Disney label. I love this. 1976 Buena Vista. And this is gonna be at 33 RPM, I bet. So let's flip it back to 33 and give it a little listen. Maybe we can follow along with the book. This will be fun. Again, we'll not listen to the whole thing, but some of it. This is the story of Jingle Bells. You can read along with me in your book. You will know it is time to turn the page when you hear the Christmas chimes ring like this. Let's begin now. Cool. It's got music. On the day before Christmas, the Bear family decided to go for a sleigh ride. Little did they know how exciting their ride would be. When Mama Bear and the two baby bears were all settled in the sleigh, Papa Bear cracked the whip. And off they went, dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh. O'er the fields we go, shouted Papa Bear, as the sleigh glided over the snowy ground. The baby bears sang Christmas carols and nibbled on old plum pudding. It was a great day for a ride in a sleigh. As they raced down the hill towards town, the two baby bears were bouncing up and down, laughing all the way. <laughs> Hubert Horse loved to pull the sleigh. He flicked his bobtail merrily. I'm getting sucked in. I'm getting sucked sang. in, you guys, but I know it's busy for you, and I know that you've got things to do, presents to buy. I'm done with my shopping. I was very late in the game, but as of last night, I have completed my shopping and I'm very excited. I have a hard time keeping a secret. So for me, um, if I get it, if I get my presents for my loved ones and my friends too early, then it drives me crazy kind of holding on to that. I, I just want to like give it to them right away. But I am done with that. Are you guys done? Do you have any more shots? Hopefully you're about done. If not running out of time, we actually sent a package to uh, some loved ones out of state and they aren't going to get it. We knew they weren't going to get it in time, but uh, they're not going to get it in time for Christmas. It's just, you know, shipping has been crazy. So, all right, back to 78 RPM land. We have a five inch, I believe this is a five inch disc. Playtime, Santa Claus is coming to town. Arthur Malvin, Tony Matola Orchestra. Play, this looks like a vinylite disc. A lot of early vinylite discs were just a red color, even if they weren't Christmas. It looks like it's in good condition. You see that modulation down there is nice and clean. It's got a little bit of polish left. My record is spinning. My record player is spinning, unbeknownst to me. So let's go ahead and give this one a listen. I have no idea. I've never listened to this. Let's see what it is. You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming. Town. He's making a list and checking it twice. Gonna find out who's naughty and nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. Oh, cool. He sees you when you're sleeping. Do you want to see more of this stuff? I think I'm going to put a few videos up on TikTok. By the way, our TikTok is exploding right now. We had a, I, you know, first I was playing records. Again, it's kind of doing what this channel is doing. I was just playing records and it was like, eh, you know, people were like, okay, I got a few hundred here, you know, a hundred there. It's just, it wasn't crazy success, but it was growing slowly. But then I started doing these videos, just doing these brief, um, like check this really weird format out. I did the eight track TNT thing. And then I did another one about um, the RCA tape cartridge. And that RCA tape cartridge is around 7,000 views or nearly 7,000 views in like a week. So I'm just like, okay, apparently you guys want more of that. That being said, I want to share some, you know, records too. So I will be doing some vertical format videos over there. Definitely check us out, subscribe, 
any engagement you guys can give us when you hit subscribe, it, it means a lot. And I know a lot of people don't do subscribing, but you know, it doesn't take much on your part and you won't be inundated with notifications unless you hit the bell notification, then you'll find out about everything. Okay. This is cool. I was super excited to find this this year. None of these, I think I paid more than five bucks for, for any of these records. Some people, you know, people that are just collecting, you know, modern records or, you know, don't care about vintage stuff or children's stuff. You know, the fact that there isn't a huge market financially for it is great for collectors like me and maybe you that, you know, are here for the historic and the, you know, that side of things. We're fascinated with the history and, you know, the story that these have to tell. So this is an RCA Victor uh, dealer's disc. And I guess this would be handed out to customers or sold to customers at a discount rate uh, from their RCA Victor dealer. And then it has a sample of different RCA artists, this one being a Christmas themed one. And there are um, a variety of these. I don't think this is the only one, but as you can see here, we got Silent Night, we got Hark the Herald Angels Sing and others, which is cool. So the record itself is, you know, Oh, it does have a white label. I was thinking it wasn't that exciting looking, but this is pretty unique. I like this. A gift. Oh, so it was given out free. A gift from your RCA record dealer. We need the 45 adapter back. And put it on 45. Give it a couple quick listens. In terms of the copyright content ID matching service, service makes it sound like it's a good thing. They, they they have bots that go and do that, and a lot of times they'll claim it by somebody that doesn't really own the copyright. So you have to go and you know fight it, and usually they release it again. But it's just a pain in the butt to even deal with that stuff. So I try to avoid it. Now, quick and easy way to find out if a video got demonetized and it's being the rights are going uh, to somebody, the money's going to somebody else is if you look in the description at below, they'll list all the songs and artists at the bottom of the description. So it's just four songs. That's all it is. There's two on this side, two on the other. This must be an EP. Yeah, it's an EP. EP just means that they uh, have tighter modulation. Basically the grooves are narrower so they can fit more songs on it. 45 EP still spins at 45. It's completely compatible, but uh, they're able to cram a lot of music if it's EP. Now, not all 45s are EPs, so, but they're fun when you come across them. It doesn't take any extra equipment, any special needle or anything. It's just the way it is. All right, we got a couple more to go, four more to go or so. Um, <clears throat> that's what I'm just going to show you because we've, we've listened to this song quite a bit. So we got Silent Night on a gorgeous Deca label, which has been ruined by some idiot that put a sticker label right on top of it. And if you pull that off, it will probably pull the label off. So I'm just going to leave it. Um, but I got it for buck fifty. So even with the, the sticker on there, it's it's a good buy. And uh, look at the modulation. This thing's in great condition. This is not much. Uh, I mean, the song must be pretty short because it doesn't use much of the real estate. There's a long or a large runout groove because it doesn't need all that space. This one's a little bit longer on the other side of this song. But, you know that might be modulated as an EP, because they can spread that out. The recording engineers can spread those grooves out and make it fill up that entire record surface. This one we also won't listen to for two reasons. One, because I've done some stuff about it already, and Elvis is one of those artists that I can't play but two seconds of before they uh, demonetize it. So somebody had corrected me when I did a recent video saying this was actually from like 1990 or thereabouts with the barcode on it. Beautiful silver label for silver bells. It comes off as a white label on camera, but it's really silver. I don't know if I'd say metallic at all, but it is silver. Very, very cool. This was remastered in 1971. I think it was recorded in 57 or 58, somewhere around there. Okay, two more. We've got Charlie Brown Christmas, one of my most beat up records ever. Oops, I'm so bad about that. I'm so bad about doing that. So, um, yeah, this is 77, and it is paper thin. It does have a raised hub, which is weird for a 33 RPM 7-inch record because you would never put this in a changer. I mean, you could. I would never put it in a changer. Still sounds pretty punchy. Without no highest, and I know it's peace. 
Good meal time. Okay, that'd be 33 RPM, not 45. You guys knew that, didn't you? Did you get a good tree? Can't you even tell a good tree from a poor tree? I told you he'd goof it up. Man, they're so mean to Charlie Brown, you guys. I don't get it. My mom used to hate Charlie Brown because there was no adults, and she thought it was irresponsible. That they were running around with no adults to protect them, which is um, it's an interesting observation. I think she's since grown to appreciate peanuts because she knows I like it. All right, and the grand finale is this beauty right here. And I again, a couple of these I have featured on the show before. This one is one of them. But it's just so cool because it has the same artwork as the Merry Christmas full full 12 inch album. This is an MCA release, so it's got a not my favorite you know label. I would rather see this on an old Decca. But this is cool. I love it. I absolutely love it. This is just great. So unfortunately, it's not the White Christmas song. It is where the blue of night meets the gold of the day, and apparently the same thing on that side. Let's see. Is that really what it is? No, we got God Resty Merry Gentlemen on the other side. Okay. But yeah, that's a, you know, that's a, not my favorite MCA label. That's a late 70s. Originally released as Decca. We have the album on 78, and we did a whole show about the different formats. So this will be 45. Let's go ahead and give it a very brief listen. Born on Christmas Day to save us all from... You know what I've been thinking about? It's this brutal lift. This thing's like... Rrr. It's a very, this record player is a down and dirty experience, but I just love it because of the fact that it's got this beautiful Christmas vinyl wrap. It was wrapped like a Christmas tree, we, or like a Christmas present. We reviewed this a couple of years ago when it came out, and when the company reached out to me, we had never done anything with LPN number one. I want to show you the, the lid, but let me tilt this up so you guys can see it here. Hold on. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Oops. We had never done anything with them before, and so I was eager to try their stuff out. I know it's just marketing. I mean, this is you know not made by this, these guys, and, but I will say this: everybody always, oh, it's made by Crosley. You know, Crosley's making Victrola. Crosley's making it. First of all, Crosley doesn't make anything. I know I go on that. I do this. I can't help myself because there's so much misinformation. It drives me nuts. You know, a lot of these companies are just marketing companies. You know, Audio Technica included. So there's, and there's not just one company making every suitcase player. There are different, I was going to do, I've done one show before about the differences between a Cru Crosley Cruiser and other brands, but they are not identical. There's actually significant differences. They use a similar mechanism, but even this isn't made by one company, the Skywind type mechanism. It's made by a couple different companies. So anyway, let's go ahead and drop our needle on this record. goes man i wish i could play more music that's really frustrating and even though i've been very conservative in my usage of the music on this video i go look down below in the in the in the uh, description i might have gotten nabbed anyway whatever i'm putting it up anyway i don't care i just want to share this with you i want to play more than that i want to sit here and you know play long amounts of music but and rightfully so i get it you know they need to maintain the copyright holders you know, they, they're the ones that went through the expense and owned the content and whatnot. We don't want to detract from that. But it's kind of frustrating because we're just trying to have a good time on YouTube. Nobody's going to take the audio out of this video and not buy this record because they heard five seconds of it. You know what I mean? It's kind of frustrating. But so we are coming in on the home stretch of Christmas. Are you guys in for the running of the free record player? We're giving away that turntable, uh, that insignia turntable from Best Buy over on my wife's channel, Beyond the Purple Suitcase. You have to watch all the Vlogmas shows, and um, you don't have much time left. So this is kind of a last chance warning. This is probably the last I'll mention of it on this channel. Get over there and do that. We are doing a giveaway. We're also having a very special guest on Christmas, something I haven't mentioned um, anywhere. So get over there and subscribe. Stay subscribed after Christmas and you know get in the running. If you get all those words, every episode has a secret word. And if you get all those words and you put the sentence together, you could be in the running for that free record player. Um, United States and Canada. Uh, shipping is very expensive. Even outside uh, outside of those areas, it's even worse. But we had to limit it because of the cost. It's, it's hundreds. It's expensive. So anyhow, that's going to do it for now. I just wanted to get together. And I may have another surprise or two up my sleeve, so stay tuned to the channel. Again, let me know down in the comments below 
what you think and what you want to see more of. And just uh, appreciate you guys. Uh, it's a blessing to have anybody willing to listen to me ramble for 25 minutes. And if you are one of the unlucky ones still there, just thank you. Seriously, guys, you have been all such a blessing and sent Christmas cards and nice messages. And you just mean more to us than you than you realize. So God bless each and every one of you. Happy record hunting. Uh, but spend time with family if you can and uh, count your blessings and take care of yourselves. God bless and we will talk to you soon.